We are here in Budapest because we organize the advocacy mentorship program as part of Correlation European Harm Reduction Network together with the Rights Report Foundation. We as Correlation have produced numerous reports in the past years, but we also want to create impact and we believe that they can form policy in practice. So this was the reason why we established the advocacy mentorship program this year for the first time. Since last year we started doing the city reports, which is part of our civil society-led monitoring of harm reduction in Europe. And the advocacy mentorship program comes to help with how to use all that information that we collect for the monitoring in an actual advocacy plan. And this is done in a way that they have one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, conversations uh, with a drugs reporter. They look into the information and the best ways, uh, building a whole strategy on how to use this uh, in, in an actual advocacy plan. In 2020, the Civil Society Forum on Drugs Advisory Body of the Euro European Commission published a study on the quality standards of uh, civil society involvement in drug policies. It is really essential to involve civil society in drug policies to make it uh, informed by the evidence and also civil society actors are those who work with people who use drugs on the ground so they have first-hand knowledge about these issues. The quality standards offer some kind of guidelines for both decision makers and civil society actors on how to involve civil society in drug policies. After we published the quality standards, we, would, we, we wanted to use it as a tool to assess the real situation on the ground. So we conducted a focus group study in four countries, in Ireland, in Greece, in Finland and in Hungary. We used the quality standards as a tool uh, in these focus groups. We had two focus groups in each country, one of the decision makers and the other one of uh, civil society actors. The report had very relevant findings on how to improve civil society involvement in these countries and build on, on these findings. We provided technical support for each organization in these countries to develop some kind of advocacy activities to follow up on the findings of the reports. Together with these partners and members, we are now shaping in these plans, making them more feasible for them and also supporting them in implementing it. We had a series of webinars which were accessible for all our focal points and members and partners, introducing different elements of advocacy and media advocacy. And uh, today and yesterday we had this meeting uh, and training with people coming together explaining the basics about what advocacy is, how it, can, uh, how it needs to be done. My plan as part of the London Harm Reduction Collective is to open a safer consumption site in London with appropriate permissions by the end of 2025. In London right now and across England and Wales, drug-related deaths are record high numbers. They've been climbing every single year for the past 30 years. We additionally are seeing really concerning adulterants in multiple drug supplies that are claiming people's lives across England. And this is a new drug-related deaths crisis on top of an already existing one that could be averted if we had safer consumption sites where we could help protect people while they use their drugs. Inside of these safer consumption sites, people who are using different drugs would come in and have a space where they could prepare their drugs and use their drugs. And then if something were to happen that they weren't expecting, let's say they had an overdose, a trained person could come and respond and help to revive them and take the medically appropriate steps to keep them safe and alive. We are right now in the funding crisis in Slovakia. So with this advocacy project, we would like to engage more stakeholders to create better cooperation within the NGOs organizations and uh, with the joint effort, gain more funds. Harm reduction services in Slovakia are run exclusively by NGOs and uh, the funding by state organizations is uh, almost zero. So it's important these life-saving services that they are available for the people in need. The advocacy project helped us uh, in sense that we were able to create a joint action and improve the cooperation and communication within the civil society movement. So I think it's the first step 
to create uh, better strategies when we will communicate with uh, the government. The country is in the process of reconceptualization of uh, uh, their uh, drug policy, national drug policy, and uh, it's the right moment to sit together to analyze the problems and the situation and to find the best solution. And we have the recommendation of uh, European Union uh, Drug Agency and the recommendation of correlation to establish in Moldova drug checking and uh, safe consumption facilities. And uh, we think at this moment, especially in the moment when we have a lot of new psychoactive drugs unknown by us at the territory of the country using by people, also by very young people, it's a good option to start this dialogue and to think about very specific new interventions for Republic of Moldova, but very needed ones. I have an experience in other programs about 20 years. I can see this uh, thing, uh, what's happening right now, it's not efficient. It is bad also for the clients and it's bad also for the staff. And uh, we, are, uh, we are thinking to make a patient uh, council so we, 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 can, we can bridge the, the, those gaps that there is between the clients and the people in, uh, who have the services, uh, who deliver the services. We as professionals and experts working in the field of um, social policies are planning to establish a platform, an expert group, uh, to integrate support services for people who are marginalized. These are health issues, uh, very often homelessness, um, issues uh, related to mental health, which is a, a very often crucial one. Uh, we can't really address uh, addiction treatment or helping people without taking care of their mental health. Uh, we also plan to um, give job opportunities and very wide psychosocial support. It would be really, really nice to have a, a a uh, formal way of influencing the system of the drug work in Finland at the moment. So we lack a system for third sector parties to influence the decision making as a representative of, of harm reduction systems. Uh, I think we should have a voice in, in the decision making. And if not uh, uh, an actual seat on those tables, we should be able to, to communicate the things that we try to, to prevail in those situations.